Thank you for stopping by. This is Truth Goddess Tarot 777. Today's read is for you, Sagittarius. Just for Sagittarius Tarot. All right, Sag, the cards have been shuffled. They've been prayed over and meditated over. Now, wow. Sag, hmm. Wow. The bottom of the deck, Spirit is saying, it is safe for you to love. Wow. So it's safe for you to love, Sagittarius. Hmm. The card that came out that showed me your overall energy was the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is actually somebody that's really, I feel like, competitive, jealous, <clears throat> guarded. This could be you or somebody else. You could be guarded. You could be protecting yourself. Um... Spirit is telling you not to get drawn into arguments with this page of swords. So use your head. Avoid petty gossip arguments as well. The page of swords, that's what spirit is telling you. So avoid any kind of arguments, petty arguments, gossip. Um, Because you may have a tower moment. The tower card is out here too. So, you know, with the, and it may be with a lover. There may be a lover coming in to try to embark on an argument with you, a potential partner. Hmm. It could be somebody that, that may, it, it could be with a lover. And this could be someone that is coming to, Cause a lot of chaos and confusion and uh, destruction and danger. Hmm. The tower moment also talks about being liberated, being free. It is associated with sudden unforeseen changes. So this could be, spirit is telling you to avoid, again, arguments, accidents, any kind of catastrophic moment, an unexpected change. Some some sort of awakening. Spirit is telling you to avoid that. Okay? Hmm. That concerns me. Sad. This may be because Spirit is saying to you, this card slid out. Somebody that gets crunk and high and they become crazy. So that's why this energy is out here. There's a dark energy that's around you. Somebody is wanting to come around you to start some shit. Excuse the language. This is somebody that's planning. They're very vigilant about starting some shit with you. This is somebody, wow. Mm -mm -mm. This is somebody that's trying to come to be truthful and direct, but this is a person that's high, drunk, intoxicated, not thinking clearly, Sag. Hmm. This is some person who more than likely wants to have some kind of kinky sex with you. That was just on the video for my, um, oh my goodness. I can't remember. I think it was the Capricorn's video you might want to watch. But the thing is, the lotus within you is awakened. You are a master in light on high. So you're ready. You are very highly intuitive. You've been awakened. You're not going to play with any dark energies or anybody. You're not playing. Spirit is saying release your creative energies. Make use of them in your life. So spirit is wanting you to use that creative side of you, your abilities, that your skills, awaken that. That's been awakened because you're unique and different. Spirit needs you to be brave, to be dark, to be a little crazy, but be yourself. So if you're into painting, if you're in, whatever you're into doing, painting, drawing, writing, video, videography, that just came to me. Um, 
sports. I, I, I don't know. I heard the word running. Whatever it is that you're creative at doing. Um, live in this world as a dreamer. Create a future paradise. So Spirit is saying, don't be afraid to open up and allow yourself to be free to use your creative skill, all right? Because your deepest desires are constraining you. So some of the things that are within you, Sagittarius, some of you guys aren't using your abilities and your God-given gifts. Spirit is saying, let them go to clear your mind. Let them go to clear your mind. So there's something that you should be doing that you're not doing. And this is why Spirit is saying it's trying to fight the fight the urge to avoid not doing what you know you should be doing. Right? That is what Spirit is saying. But again, there's also this energy where Spirit is saying it is safe for you to love, open your heart to give, and receive the highest energy of all. This person that's crunk and they're crazy high and crazy this is a, a dark entity that's trying to come and provoke you so somebody's a liar they want to come and provoke you this could be a woman this is a woman or a male this woman envies you so this is somebody that's trying to provoke you to start a fight hmm somebody is trying to, she may be 33. Hmm. Wow. This person is bisexual. And Wednesday, this may happen on Mercury Day, which is Wednesday. Wow. I love husband or wife. Hmm. Under judgment. This person is under judgment. This person is a friend. You may have to call the police. This person, again, is secretly gay, a male or a woman, a female <clears throat> or a male. Again, this may this spot might be somebody that is a new girlfriend, wants to be your new girlfriend if they're bisexual. I love husband and wife, friends or my lovers difficult speaking and to express oneself. I don't know. This is somebody that's trying to come through and cause some sort of chaos in your life. This could be what somebody is just thinking about. This may happen at night. This might be somebody who's in that page of source energy watching you, trying to provoke you. So says, just know this person is high. Yeah, they, they live a distance from you. Wow. Clarify this woman. Who is this woman? This woman could be you or somebody else, but this is somebody that's high. It's like they got liquid courage to come to say something to you. This person is under judgment. Whoever this woman is, yep, she's trying to make her way to you. Who is this woman? She's trying to come near you, Sag. See, you're feeling good. Spirit is wanting you to stay focused on your job on your life on your career courtship wow this is a woman that wants to court you i just said this woman is bisexual if you're a female this is a woman that wants to court you she wants to start i don't know you may not have you may not be speaking to this person again this is a woman that lives a distance from you you may have had a court battle with this person or maybe this person I don't know, courthouse. You may have, <clears throat> this person may have helped you regarding a court proceeding of some sort, Sag. A main female. Who is, what is it? Okay, we're going to ask Spirit for the cards. Tell me about this courtship, this woman. Okay, there's a courtship. Um, I don't know. This is a woman. Clarify this woman. What is it that Sash needs to know about this? 
So this woman is jealous and envious of you. And there's something this woman must have did for her to be under judgment. <clears throat> what did this woman do to set? Tell us what we need to know about this woman. So it's like this woman is envious and jealous of you. Oh, wow. Okay. This is because you are stable, you're structured, and you have a lot of self-control and you're focused. That's the emperor. You as a female could be in that energy as an emperor. Okay, this, this woman may have lied to you, made plans to... Um, again, this is a woman that's, or somebody's trying to, she's planning to come to you. I don't know why this woman is, she's, when she comes to you, it's going to be about a, it's going to be a dishonest, underhanded, dangerous, risky thing that this woman does. So this person was parading around as your friend. Hmm. This person is planning because, okay, this is a fire sign. This person is maybe thinking about making their way back towards you, being in charge. This is a person who lies, who's planning to make a decision to unexpected income impulsive, unexpected income. This is somebody that's making their way because they feel as if you can, I don't know, give them some income or something. I don't know. This person realizes that, that you're controlled, but this person is a liar. So I don't know. Okay. This emperor, there's a man here, but this is a person that maybe courted a, a main woman. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. This man may have courted some woman that wants to come to you. She is envious of you. This is a Leo, bitch. Okay. Oh. So, this is a woman that wants to come to you. Because she's envious. And again, she's under judgment. So this bitch can't come nowhere near you. This bitch has dark energies around her. She get crunk. She get high. This almost feels like the energy of the video I did for you guys regarding this Queen of Wands. It may be the same thing. But this woman is a liar, a cheater. What else do we need to know about this woman? She's envious and jealous of you. She's jealous, okay, she's jealous of your creativity. That's what it is. She's jealous of you. Wow. Tell us more about this woman. So this person, if you're a female and you dated an emperor, this woman made plans to steal that person and lie and cheat and be deceitful. Okay, let go, make room for the new beginning on its way to you now. So this woman maybe have let go of the person that you were dealing with, but she wants to come and tell you, male or female, what else do we need to go? No, go. So spirit is saying go. Just ignore this woman. What else? Oh, wow. Commitment. Okay. Commitment, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Things are getting serious. Okay, so she was the person that came in between. If you're a woman, that <clears throat> the person you were dating, you all take the energies as they apply. She was a gold digger, hit the floor. This, de this gold digger came in between you and the person that you were dating, male or female. Okay, and for some reason, she's telling you that, I don't know why she wants to tell you that they are committed or something like that. Like, she's worried. This person is worried that, okay. 
Here it is. This person, male or female, this woman is worried that your per the person you were made these reads are timeless. She's worried that the person that you were dealing with or is still dealing with is going to lie and cheat and be deceitful and come towards you. She's worried that this person is going behind her back, making plans and determined to come back to you. What? But you've already let this person go. This person, you've walked away. She's envious of you because of who you are. But see, she her ass is under judgment. If she was to come to you, her ass is going to get a really big... Uh, she's making a decision. This is the... Okay. She is bisexual. She is the main woman that this person took a path to date. That's what this is. And then the thing is, she's all up in her head. Now, again, if you're a male, take the energies as, as they apply. She's worried that this emperor is planning to lie, steal, cheat, to come back toward you. <laughs> and she knows that this person is very determined to do that. Okay, so she can't let go of the fact that this person is still someone who wants to come back to you. She's a gold digger. Okay, so she's gotten, again, li liquid courage. She's envious and she's a liar. Hmm. Wow. Ain't this something? But there's going to be a tower moment, as I stated. Again, judgment. She's under judgment. There's going to be a tower moment. And here we go again with the King of Wands. This is somebody that's a natural born leader, which you are, an entrepreneur, a visionary. You have big plans and you are a daring decision maker. You're very bold and optimistic. So she knows that coming to you would be, uh, will definitely cause a tower moment. So this is something that it's sudden. It's sudden and unforeseen. But but get but again. Okay. The King of Swords is somebody of authority and discipline. I just said you guys are gonna have to maybe call the authorities. But see, your angels are here. The Tempest is also here. Which your guides are kind of letting you know this. That this is what this person is thinking about doing. This is somebody that wants to come to you. She's under judgment. She's definitely under judgment if she definitely if she comes to you. You're going to have to make a snap judgment decision. I feel like this woman is blaming you because this person is wanting to come back to you. And she knows that this person is looking for forgiveness so that they could come back to partner up with you. And, oh, wow. I did say, yep. She knows that this person wants to seize the moment to come right back and leave her and arrive and come back into your life. What? Yeah, this person, she knows this person wants to stop giving to her and give to you and offer you new love. But see, your guys are protecting you from this woman. <laughs> She's Your angels keep coming up here. This is the fourth time I saw this temperance card. There's going to be a, you, you guys can rest assured that this woman cannot come to you. So spirit is letting you know, this woman is, this is a woman that's all fired up. She's all charged up to come and mess with you. A new strategy is required. Find the path to love and happiness. So you've moved on from this person. She is worried because the, the person that she thought it's like, I feel like this person thought they did something when they were with the, the person that you were dating, male or female. Okay, now she has a person, but she doesn't feel settled in the relationship because this person, again, you are an earth angel. So there's no way that these plans that this woman is coming up. Oh, here you go, the nine of pentacles, because you have a luxurious life. You're comfortable. You are stable. You have a business. You take care of yourself. She's trying to move forward to come towards you. But your angels are there to guide and protect you. So, but they're saying a new strategy is required. Let's find out what this is. 
A new strategy is required. What is the strategy? Because this they, she found out this person is in love with you. Yeah, the Queen of Wands and Everett. She found out that this person, male or female, is in love with you. Okay. Yep, that's the news. It jumped right out. She found out that the person that she, your person, your ex-person, male or female, is wanting to come back and offer you a new beginning. And that this person is determined to start a new beginning with you. Okay, now, this is the thing, Sash. The person that you were in a relationship work with, this person was a gold digger. So now this person that they left you for, <laughs> they are running off to leave this gold digger. And they know that this person is interested in you. Look, this person is sneaking behind their back, making plans to come back toward you. This is what they're doing. They're making plans to come back to you. This is a person that you were courting male or female but there's a woman that realizes this that this person is making <laughs> trying to come back to you okay this person it seems to me that this person sees you as somebody that has a new strategy a new plan you moved on from this person clarify a new strategy strategy is required uh-huh so this is what it is. This person is driving by trying to come connect with you because they know that you are their fulfillment, happiness. Okay. This person is willing to take a gamble. Okay. Yeah. So this is this person has some bright has a bright idea to re-strategize to come back towards you to Oh my gosh, this person is trying to have success to overcome this connection that they were in because they believe you are their happiness and fulfillment. That's what this is. And the person that they're dealing with realizes that this person, um, you've ex you're experiencing a spiritual blossoming. So you've changed. Take a new direction and be open to new experiences. So this person, that's why they're in the Knight of Swords energy. They know that you've moved on from them. And they know that you're very connected as an earth angel. They also know that you're very creative. So this energy about you being creative, it's not you, spirit is one. It's somebody else. They're telling you the locus within you awakens. You are a master in light on high. So... You are very spiritual. You're very connected. You're very intuitive. You are on your purpose. This pe these people are not. See, again, they want to they want to move forward and come towards you. But the tower moment time, tower is in reverse. This is the second time this tower card came out here. This person is either ill. They're in this volatile situation with this person. They're very, they're having a personal transformation. Some things have changed in this person's life and it's drastic. Somebody want to come and tell you. This is a tower moment. This person, this person wants to come and tell you about the passion that they have for you. But you overcame and you, you're, you're on guard because this, this is a person that betrayed you and you just walked away and this person knows that you're very happy so okay it's like this main woman is realizing that although you walked away from this situation the person that that 24 24 when i said that this person still is in their head about giving to you as an earth angel they yeah giving to you yeah this person wants to run back and come to you because they realize you're successful, you're a star, that you are a big blessing. And they want to work with you. They want a family. They want to connect to you. They know the mysteries as to you being this highly spiritual gifted person. I feel like this person thought <laughs> when they were secretly going back, returning to this person from their past, they either secretly moved in with this person and now it's a burden. 
because they thought that person was their soulmate. But then, see, they received judgment because this person was supposed, was supposed to connect to you, but they chose not to do it. They were pushing you away. This person pushed you away, purposely fought you, tried to keep you in competition. But what happened is you began to invest in yourself and you stayed in you had a lot of control when you walked away from this person and it's driving this person crazy. You began a new uh, passion. You started a new um, project. This is what this top row is saying. You started a new passion, a new start that you have put all your focus into. This person, I feel like both of these two people are obsessed with coming towards you. This is crazy because they see you as very, being very successful. Now, she's a nasty, mean, uncooperative, uninspired, dark witch. She has no powers. The cycle with this person has closed. She has no powers. She has no, no good blessings coming to her. The cycle with this woman has closed. So it's like, I feel like, okay, this woman was trying is trying to cipher your energy. They know that you're the truth. It's like this person ran off. Oh, my gosh. This person ran off and thought and believed what this woman was saying about you. But you're the blessed, successful, abundant one. The person that they ran off with was not. She was, how could I say this? She, it was like a cam camouflage. That's a cam. I don't know if that's the right word. But she was somebody that plays with dark energy you are of the light energy okay so this person realizes that you're the truth you're the big blessing you're the one that's uh, on the high vibration the person that they went to oh my gosh is evil mean dark wicked but this is who they ran off to partner up with this person caused them a lot of illness and sickness despair obstacles it's like once this person took a leap of faith with this person their life has been nothing but chaos and confusion they're sick they're ill their life has been a sham it has not been anything positive since they snuck off and went to with this gold digger who's dark it's like this person went off and trusted because they were talking about you, the page of swords. It's like they were watching and talking about you. So it's like this person believed this gold digger. I don't know if you knew the person, but they're they're definitely envious of you. They are both envious of you. She is a gold digger. Yep. So they've been watching you. This was this person's new boyfriend or girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, it was all lust. It was all lust. They went toward this person because it was lust. That's what it was. And it keeps saying, I love my husband or my wife. So maybe one of these two people went back, and the, the friends with lovers, they went back to their husband or wife. Maybe this person may have been married. And they, oh, wow. At a family gathering, friends or my lovers. So it's like the video, the message that I gave you guys, a commitment. This person was married. Somebody was married that this person was dealing with. Your person, I don't know. Somebody was married. And this person is trying to hold on to their concern. This person, I keep saying, mm, clarify that I love my husband or wife. So somebody was messing around with somebody's husband or wife, somebody... That's the truth. Somebody was messing around. They were holding on, messing around with somebody's spouse. That's what it is. Maybe your person was married. I mean, messing around with some... Oh, yep. Yeah, they took a leap of faith. And now they're left out in the cold. So somebody was messing around. What? Okay. Married. Oh my gosh, this is a lot. So it's like a king of pentacles turned their back and moved forward. And now they're 
spirit that in their relationship they left behind somebody from their past and now they're stuck with this person this is somebody who oh gosh so it's okay so somebody's married that want to leave their husband or wife Sad. Oh my goodness. Somebody is married. They want to leave their husband or wife to come back, to come to you. You may not even know this person because the empress is here. Somebody is manifesting to come to leave somebody that they were with or married to and come to you and all, they would just betray you. They, uh-uh, nope, walk away. This person is obsessed with leaving whoever they're involved with to come back to you. And who they're married to, again, is a nasty, mean, uncaring hoe. Whoever she is, this person is regretful that they made the choice to travel, thinking that they were going to have a happy marriage, a complete, successful, abundant life. That this person, they regret it. The cycle is over. It's closed. This person, whoever they're messing around with, they went to this person for just sex or they married them something like that yeah but it's like okay here's a, a woman that wants to say something to you again but she doesn't have the balls to do it this might be somebody who's thinking about coming and to say something to you yep there's no justice there's no balance somebody is trying to come and tell you something with this page of swords they want to tell you that this person, somebody wants to tell you about their husband or wife or maybe this delusional or this married couple, something like that, where somebody's spouse wants to talk to you. It's a king of pentacles who's married, who sees you, who wants to leave behind their past the current relationship that they're in and they're, they want to come to you, but they're stuck. They, if this is something this person is thinking about doing, they're obsessed with doing this because they're married to a nasty, mean person, uncaring woman. They like who you are, but spirit is saying, do not trust this person. They're married. They want to come to you. So spirit is telling you to use your intuition this person is under judgment. Whoever this person is, they want to come in and out of your life and have a, like a fling with you. But you're on guard. You're watching. You're protecting yourself. You're going to tell this person, you better get the hell out of here. Or her, this wife of theirs wants to come to you because you're stable. Whoever she is, this person cannot do anything with you. They can't. So, Sads, I'm going to get out of here. This is a crazy, crazy situation here. I'm telling you. Yeah, they're in a committed relationship. It's like they want to leave their husband or wife to come to you. This is what it is. And if it's not that, it's somebody that you were dealing with that they may have married or they're in a committed relationship with these, this couple. So, it's like a couple that's watching you. And you're setting money, money your business. You are nine of pentacles as a woman or a man. This is somebody that's, they're watching you. You got this crazy couple watching you. Wow. That's what this is. Oh my goodness. We're going to get out of here. One, 33. Wait a minute. Uh, one card for the family gathering. What does the family gathering have to do with Sag? Yeah, this is a dark couple. They have kinky sex. Wait a minute. It says lots of ideas, intellectual inability, failure, and hostility. See, these people have, as I said, this these people have a lot of ideas to try to come and bother you. And you have nothing to do with these people from what I can tell. These are people that are watching you. I don't know who this couple is. Yeah, they're watching you, the Queen of Pentacles, because you're stable. Family gathering. 
they are watching you. I'm telling you, there's somebody, this is a couple that's watching y'all. I don't know why, but they are. The Empress, it keeps coming out. They're watching the fact that you're stable, you're comfortable, you have everything you need. Your life is very luxurious compared to this couple. Whatever it is that you're doing, you are very connected to the universe. Your angels are watching you. But th this is something these people want to do. Some family is watching you. I don't, I don't know. But these people, be careful, says. I, I don't know. The same cards keep coming out. They are, they're researching you. They're trying to find out everything about you. Standing. I told y'all, same cards. You are standing up for yourself. You're protecting yourself. Your angels are watching you. This is something that you may not even notice happening, Sag. I'm letting you know. We're going to close out here. Uh, they want to start a fight with you. I told you. Sagittarius, I'm going to get out of here because this is just, a, it's a married couple. I'm telling y'all. Yeah, it's a married couple. They want to control you. I don't know who these people are, but they, it's like they want to come to you. They're thinking about it. They want to calm. They want to heal a situation. This is what they want to do. You may have walked away from the, this person, a lover, a brother, a sister, whoever, but they have the in inability to move forward towards you because you blocked this person intuitively. There's an inner knowing you probably know these people because for the high, for the high, the high priest to come out here, you are emotionally stable. You know who these people are. Things have not yet been revealed to you yet. Your spirit gods are trying to tell you that these are people that have addictions. They are dealing with mental health issues. They have an ego. They're feeling trapped. They're confused because of your blessings. These are people who mistreated you, backstabbed you. This could be family. This could be a lover. Whatever this is, they have seen that you've grown and that you're doing extremely well for yourself. And you overcame a whole lot. There is a married couple that is looking at you. I may do a part two to this video, Sage, because this is really strange. But for right now, and this person, these the Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, cautious be very cautious find out more information do not overwork yourself so don't go overboard trying to figure out who it's definitely a married couple it's definitely a couple that you know yes and they are committed yes luck and blessings are on your side these are people who live a distance from you someone is still being figuring and they're bisexual. They're narcissists. This is somebody that wants to come back. Yeah. Okay. You all know who this person is. You do know who these people are. It's a married couple. It's a couple that's committed in a marriage or a relationship. They're watching you. The couple is watching you. The wife is watching you. Maybe you're the woman or the man that they're watching. And they are a couple, but they're obsessed with you. It's like one person wants to come and tell you something that the other person wants to get back or come to you. Oh my gosh, they're concerned. Somebody is concerned that somebody else is have these feelings for you. But they're false and they're in their head. And again, they want to travel back towards you. This is somebody that you know that's unofficial. Something has changed. This person is a mature man or woman. They're, I don't know if they work. They see your work and now they're sick. Yeah. They see that you've worked very hard and you're privileged. That's what that is. So you got a couple that wants to come to you because you are successful. You are revered. You are respected. And this marriage this person sees possibly that you're going to be married and they're in despair of that. Yep. That's the read, Sage. We're out of here. Thank you for stopping by. Bye.